In this movie, we're going to introduce one of the most basic building blocks of a Perl script, and that is the variable. A variable is something which enables us to refer to a value without referring to it explicitly. We can just use a general name, and then we assign a value to that name, and then Perl will interpret what we're saying and return the value. Let's have a look at a concrete example of a variable as we might use it in the English language. A variable is like a box that we can put whatever we want into it. An example in the English language would be the word today. Now, today in this instance is like the variable. But depending on what day of the week we're on when we say today, the person that's listening to us say it will know that we're referring to a different day of the week. So, for instance, if it's Monday, then the value of today is Monday. Now let's take a look at how this translates into Perl. I'm going to be using these two boxes here. This one is for the code that we're going to write in Perl, and this one down here is going to be the output. So when we say today is set to Monday in this line, the value today is put inside the today variable. So the variable today now has the value Monday. There's a couple of things we should note about this line. Before the name of the variable, we put a dollar sign. And that's to tell Perl that the word just coming after the dollar sign is a variable. We're also using this sign, looks like an equal sign. When we see it on its own like that in Perl, it means is set to. So whatever's to the left of the sign, the variable in this case, is set to whatever's to the right, which is the variable's value. So then when we ask Perl to print the value of the today variable, it returns whatever value we set to it. In this case, Monday and it produces the value of the variable out of the box. Let's take a look back at our text editor and we'll see an example of this in action. To begin with, let's just get our Perl script to output the literal string high. And a string in this case is just a sequence of characters. So all we're asking it to do is something very simple here, very similar to the script that we created in the previous chapter and we're going to call this one hi.pl. Let's move over to our command prompt and we're going to run the Perl script and it produces the word hi. So that's very simple. If we did this in a slightly different way we could create a variable and we're just going to call this variable A. Perl knows it's a variable because we've used the dollar sign in front of it. Then we'll use the is set to operator and then we'll give it the value hi. So when we come to run the print function, the print function is how we tell Perl to produce some output, we can tell it instead of printing hi, we can simply tell it to print the value of the variable A. And that's what we're doing in this line down here. So let's save that and move back to our command prompt. And as we can see, this script does exactly the same as what it did before. So what's the advantage of using variables? The advantage is that although we've set the ver value of the variable A to high, we can set it to something completely different later on in our script. So now we've set it to something completely different. Then we can ask it to print out the value of the variable A again. Because it's changed, let's see what it does. Let's save that and run the script again. As you can see, it's printed 
twice here. Once it's printed high, and then it's printed something else. And because it, we, we haven't told it to produce a new line, it's run those two together. But you can see it's printing two very different values, even though the only print statements within our script both say print variable A. So that's the basic element, the variable.